And let's see. Welcome to Engineering Design Technology. I would like to give you a brief description of our program and what to expect as a student. What is Engineering Design Technology? Well, sometimes we are referred to as graphic design or CAD operators. And we use the computer to create drawings and ideas or sketches for engineers. But anything you can think of in engineering starts with us. We have to have an idea, we have to have sketches, we have to put it on blueprints, it has to be manufactured. So, think of engineering, this is the first spot right here. As an engineering design technology student who is working in an office atmosphere, and we use various software to create mechanical, electrical, plumbing, civil engineering, architecture, piping, process vessels. Just anything you can think of, we can draw it in a 2D or 3D environment with the software we use. We also have 3D printing and we have CNC that we can take the ideas, sketches, the drawings, and create an actual part that we can hold in our hands. Some of the softwares we use are AutoCAD, Inventor, SolidWorks, and Revit. And depending on what we're drawing or trying to accomplish, we can select the proper software to generate the drawing. Again, we have a state-of-the-art state of 3D printing and CNC lab that students can use the project. We can come over and actually print out or cut out the parts that we design in the software. And we, that covers the whole from the, the idea to the drawing and design to the manufactured part. It covers the whole entire manufacturing process. We have a associate degree that we offer. This takes five semesters for two years to complete. Within that associate degree, there are embedded two certificates that you would get, a CAD 1 and a CAD 2 certificate. So if you complete the program, get an associate degree, you also have two CAD certificates that you would add to your resume. Again, we're very flexible, and more flexible now than ever. We also several types of programs that you can come in. We have a lot of online courses, the traditional, the hybrid, day, night classes, late start, and many sessions. And uh, we'll see in the next presentation uh, how to locate those uh, within the catalog. If you have project lead the way courses in high school, you may have up to one semester of credit that you can earn. So, any of those high school credits, if you have a project lead the way, counts in our curriculum. There are a total of 79 hours in our class. Again, we have flexible schedules, we have open lab that you can come in before or after class and work on your drawings or projects. And we work as a team. Um, if somebody besides you can help you or you can help them, you know, we, we work as a team to try to accomplish what we're doing. And completion of this program will you know, prepare you to be an engineering assistant, detailer, or mechanical draftsman. Some of the uh, employment opportunities that we have in the area is new core engineering and call common, nets engineering. And many more. And internships are all available in the second year if you could work and go to school and earn money. And upon graduation, you may be offered a job for that company. And 
And just to recap, the uh, expected starting salary in the Armstrong area is $15, $18 per hour. And when you move out of the area, 40, 50, 60 miles, that will increase. And I can tell you right now, the job outlook for CAD operators is excellent. And again, all it takes is five semesters or two years to complete. And you can see our program website and my contact information. And if you need to get in touch with me, you can uh, take a look at the telephone number or the building I'm in, and I'll be glad to help you out. In our second video, we're going to look at the program orientation. And we have previously covered some of these topics, such as the overview of the program, the opportunities, and the job outlook. You can find the program requirements at this address, which are the required courses and certificates we talked about in the program. Of course, often, of course, there are several types that you will find online, traditional, hybrid, daily, night, night, etc. If you look over here at the English 101, you see a dash 01. So that is your section number. If you look down here, any number that is 1 to 18 will be a first class. 90 to 99 will be teaching. 40 to 99 will be teaching. We'll give you an indication of what section class and type of classroom is expectations. This is the syllabus. Right, is a list of classes that you're taking. This is a 
because the Jesus is glad to make him mad. And your announcement will be right here, front page, and then some new report right here. That's going to a four year college. There are several agreements that already have to know some status for your colleges. And if you feel that you may want to do this, just tell me as soon as possible and we can lead you down that path for taking transfer classes. We also have a list of transfer agreements that are listed on the website. If an agreement does not exist, just take a look at the college that you're interested in, maybe contact them and get a plan. And let's take a look at that. We also have the SD track that you can use to watch the uh, class of class for the team school. Financial aid is very important. That's one of the things I can't help you with. You got to make sure keeping up with that every semester make sure you get financial aid. Everything, uh, any announcements, scholarships will be posted on B2L. Make sure you remember to apply by the deadline to be quick. This leads us to what makes a successful student. Arriving early, make sure you submit assignments on time, do the math. We like for you to started with the math straight away and because everything you do from the beginning and the uh, semester that follows, the math is going to follow you all the way through. So you need to take care of that first and I will help you with that. Make sure you are staying on path and uh, have the right math class. Teach your classes like you're on the job. That's very important. You want to arrive early. Have everything on time. Always check D2L. Log on to D2L once a day, twice a day. Just check for announcements. And preparing for your future job. Just remember that employers ask for transfer. And instructors can serve as recommendations. Also, we have the interviewing every day. We can help you with uh, preparing for interviews. Uh, clinical internship work experience. Anything that uh, the resume, we can help you get a resume at the end. You need to uh, submit those as well. Social media. Just remember, a lot of these jobs will look at what you're posting on social media. So be careful there. All right, that wasn't so painful. Does anybody have any questions or concerns that I might try to answer now? Anybody? Michael, I know you got one question. Can everyone hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Is that better? Yep. I think maybe the volume might have been a bit low on that video. Hopefully, you heard it. Um, again, if you want to, uh, if you need to review this, it's going to be posted on the OC Tech website, and uh, you can go back and check. And if you uh, need to send me an email or, you know. That would probably be the best email or text and I can get back to you straight away. Sometimes I'm not here in the office and I don't catch the phone right away. But, um, you know, it's very, the other thing is too, I want to say, uh, from what I'm looking at, the AET 101, if anyone is in that class, I think it, it lists you coming in on, at eight o'clock in the morning. What I want to say is the lab is going to be open from 10 o'clock until maybe five in the afternoon, Monday through Thursday. So you do not have to be here at eight o'clock in the morning for any class like that. 
just anything for EGT or, or AET, you just know that you can come in between 10 and five o'clock in the afternoon, Monday through Thursday. And it probably wouldn't hurt the first week to uh, do that. So we all get on the same page and we know that um, you understand what you are supposed to submit to me and I'm, I feel comfortable that you do. And a lot of this work can be done from home. But if you do feel like you need to be here, the lab will be open again, 10 o'clock until five o'clock Monday through Thursday. Does that sound good? All right, if there's no questions, that'll do it for us. So see you guys later, maybe next week. Have a good one. You too.